Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I haven't been in the in the uh, practice of uh, filming and posting on Saturdays. Uh, however, since um, the job situation has been alleviated temporarily, um, I have the time, and so I will likely be um, just posting straight on through because there's really no shortage of information. Anyway, today I'm going to address my teacher, his website, and um, a little bit about why um, I, I guess. I have not been able to find anything better, and maybe you guys will take a look and agree because it's it's the most condensed, most concentrated form of teaching and information based, uh, legitimately based on the word that I have ever even, I, I've never even heard of anything this close. I've heard of all the names of the past, you know, all, all the, the big studies and the different, the Schofield Bibles and all these things, but unfortunately, a lot of those are built on some unfortunately erroneous non-biblical notions um, and Dr. Robert Lukenbill, the author of this site, has done the most amazing job breaking it down for those of us that are willing to, and it's a heavy read, guys. There's lots, lots to read on this site. So um, this is off of the website, ichthys.com. Um, let's see here, about, about Ichthys Ministry. The ministry originated with a face-to-face -face Bible study at the University of California, Irvine during the late 1980s before they were pure communists. When friends graduated or otherwise moved on, I felt the need to make these materials available in a written form. This process was greatly facilitated by the internet, and Ichthus was, and and Ichthus first ventured online in October 1997. So he's been at this for quite some time. Um, in general, let's see. Ichthus is an independently owned and operated nonprofit personal ministry. All materials posted to this site are the sole property and responsibility of himself, the webmaster, Dr. Robert Luganville. Although the Bible study materials found here are in the Protestant evangelical tradition, this site has no denominational affiliation. The Bible studies at Ichthys are intended to speak for themselves. It is my profound, his profound hope that these lessons will contribute to the spiritual growth and progress in the Christian life of those who make use of them. And, and absolutely. Um, that's why I keep mentioning his, his uh, website because I don't want to sit around and claim that I came up with all of this. And it's not that he came up with it either, but he's definitely done so much of the heavy lifting for a lot of us who... Well, he, he he's a single man, and he's he's uh, he's uh, he's the head of the classics department at U of, uh, University of Louisville in Kentucky. So he's got he's got time, and he's 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 done nothing but bear down for the last. Well, you guys saw how long nineteen ninety seven. So he's been at this for quite a while. Uh, let's see here about the author. I'm gonna pull this up. This is just directly off the site. I'm not doing anything special. Um, so since two thousand ten, he's been at the uh, he's been the university at the University of Louisville. Professor of Classics. Classics, by the way, are Greek, Hebrew, and Latin. So he is well-versed in all three languages, fully fluent, and he actually has a very, very good grasp of Aramaic as well. So um, when I read off his uh, translations off the Bible, he expands upon things because, you know, our, our, language is, our language is a mess. It requires so many more words and sounds and whatnot to get across points that, um, you know, Greek and Hebrew words were very very deep and um, exhaustive in their meaning sometimes. And it's a lot of the reason why so many people have uh, certain misunderstandings based upon how English is proffered to them versus how the weight of those those old languages were. It was much more poetic, much more deep. Um, everything was, was more obviously connected and, and, and meaningful. And we've just broken it down into our, our, our modern day, very ugly, uh, kind of gross. It's kind of a gross language, honestly, English. Let's see, he was the uh, associate professor, uh, professor from 97 to 2010. So as of 2010, he was the head of the, he was the head of the whole department. Um, 90, 91, he was at uh, University of Southern California as a lecturer. And from 84 to 90, he was in uh, University of California, Irvine, got his PhD in classics in 1990 uh, and his MA in classics in 86. So you see, he, he built upon it. Um, from 82 to 84, he went to the uh, Talbot Theological Seminary. So you guys have probably heard of that. Uh, M-A-B-S, and he's got an M-A-B-S in Old Hebrew Testament, 1984, highest honors. Um, from 80 to 82, University of Illinois, um, Champaign, I guess. Mm. Uh, B.A., uh, 1982, highest distinction in classics. So as you guys can see, the guy's really, he's put in the work. And just so we're clear, manly teach, uh, earthly teaching, uh, teachings of man are nonsense. A lot of the information that people use to destroy the Bible came from man, and they are made up sophistry, very much the way that the word tells us that humans that will deny him will use reason to destroy the faith of anybody that they can. It's a lot of the reason why you'll hear certain people question whether or not Paul wrote so much of the New Testament, 
Um, that in and of itself is huge. That puts a big chink in the armor and it makes people question whether or not the Bible is actually even legitimate. But that man was so incredibly close to the Lord. Uh, it's, it's not that you're taking it on faith that he's like the super apostle. It's just there's so much... There's so much direct evidence, regardless of the circumstantial nonsense that these liberal professors bring up, uh, that point to the majority, if not all of the writers of the Bible actually being who they were, who they stated, because, you know, God's not a liar, um, that they're all clearly just trying to destroy the word, whereas the doctor here is a very good example of somebody who is trying to uphold the word. And I've had nothing but respect. Um, before that, from 75 to 79, he was in the U.S. Marine Corps. Um, 73 to 75, University of Illinois, Chicago, B.A. in History, 1975, with honors. And 71 to 73, Northeastern Illinois University. So the man has just been at it for a very long time. Um, he has some personal stuff that he gets into here, but that's 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 very irrelevant um, regarding his teaching. Now, let's see here. There's some other stuff you can get in here. You can read the FAQs. You can do all that stuff. I want to go over the I'm going to go over the studies here that have made the biggest impact on my life, and I'm certain many others because it's again it's been around for a long time. 20, what, five years now? Good Lord. Um, so let's see. Of the studies that I would recommend people get into right away, the very first one that I would say is is ideal to just jump into because it's relatively small compared to his other studies. And uh, it's very succinct and it's very direct. And it describes the very broad, um, the very broad tenets and notions that the Bible consistently displays, like judgment, rest, replacement, and restoration. That cycle, that three-part cycle of judgment, uh, restora replacement and restoration happens over and over and over again in the Bible. Um, and he, he, he points that out. He points out, you know, Satan's rebellion and fall, uh, the gap in the first two verses of Genesis and what that actually means for those of us today. Uh, the purpose, creation and fall of man, Satan's world system, judgment, restoration and replacement part five. This is the satanic rebellion series. I advise everybody read that first. Um, if you want something a little more light that isn't necessarily... Well, it comes in small pieces and he breaks it down. He has an entire series based on Peter's epistles. Those were amazing. Uh, that being said, they are 41 parts and it took him many, many years to finish. He had only been uh, 10 or 11 into it by the time that I got around to reading this, which was, oh man, how long has it been? Eight, nine years, nine, maybe, maybe 10 years. I'm not really sure. I've been reading it for quite some time. Um, so absolutely start with the, uh, let's see, Satanic Rebellion series. Got to have it. Uh, the Bible Basics series is also an exceptionally good read. It's very good for those who, who want to understand the basic ologies of the Bible. For example, theology, angelology, eschatology, end times, anthropology, study of man, hamartiology, uh, or amartiology, depending if you're using the, the Greek um, uh, pronunciation, the study of sin, Christology, study of Christ, soteriology, the study of salvation, pneumatology, study of the Holy Spirit's ministry, etc. Amazing stuff. So, Satanic Rebellion series. Peter's Epistles, Bible Basics. The Bible Basics are good, but it is, it's is—it's fairly weighty. Um, so I, I would absolutely suggest you get through that. Recently, he has introduced a series on the Epistles to the Hebrews, which is far and away the most difficult book to read from Paul because Paul was dealing with a very uh, reprobate Jerusalem church that had decided to become Judaized and go back to certain portions of the law. Remember the whole, um, he, he lost he lost people, um, he he. he he went in and he rebuked Peter to, Peter to his face. You know, there was just a number of things that Paul did. Hebrews addresses that. He's just now getting that series going. The introduction is finalized, and it looks like he's going to have 13 chapters. But uh, it's, it's going to be a very heavy and awesome read. I advise you guys keep an eye out for that one, too, because it's probably going to be amazing, just like the Peter's epistles and everything else he's written. Uh, and then the next one, the really big one, the one that's going to take you the most amount of time and is the hardest to digest because... Well, it destroys a lot of the nonsense that we've come to understand as to what's about to occur during this tribulation time where we're just on the door of. Uh, the coming tribulation series, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts. Uh, it does not just exegete the book of Revelation. It involves Isaiah, Daniel, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, um, Genesis, all, all the books that have anything to do with the, the day of the Lord, you know, Babylon, Babylonian captivity, uh, the Antichrist, all of that. It's all covered in there and to an exhaustive degree. It's it's to a level that, again, guys, it's very weighty. It will take you a long time and you really got to stick through it. But maybe it'll do like it did for you, like it did for me and excite you enough that you can just you can keep pounding through because sometimes it's pedantic. But again, very blessed man, very good at writing. Uh, when I first you know started reading the site, he had a few typos here and there. But for the most part, 
there's almost nothing I've ever been able to tear apart of his. And I, I think it's a Christian's job to question everything uh, to the depths as, as, as you are capable of understanding it. And then uh, I will also say this. If you ever have any direct questions, the doctor has never been more than two days away from answering me. And he and I have been in communication for quite some time. So if don't take my word for it. If you have any questions, um, the last thing I want to make mention of, and he has done... It's, it's, it's massive, the library of emails and answers that he has on this website. If you go all the way down to the bottom of the site on ifuse.com, there is a emails button. It is the, let's see, there's a series of buttons on the very bottom of the page. It is the fourth button down on the far left. And he addresses just about every topic, controversial or otherwise, that you could ever really want to know regarding faith and the Bible and application and the Spirit's ministry, all of it, just all of it. So... I'm going to keep this short and make it simple. You guys really need to check this out. He's a flawed man just like the rest of us, but just like the apostles, the prophets, and all of them, they were all flawed too, and they all knew they were garbage, but they were all very gifted by the Spirit. And I can't claim any man is perfect, certainly not myself, certainly not the doctor, but his work is as close to perfect as I have ever seen, ever. Don't take my word for it. Hop on the website. I think it will edify. It will edify and allow for your expedited and expanded growth beyond a point you never thought you would be able to achieve because of your sinful flesh. And again, check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, some of you perhaps that are watching this are already familiar with his work because he's been around for a while and he, you know, he, he does have a number of followers around the world. I've been in contact with a few of them every now and then. Um, but please take a look. Um, let me know what you think. Comment if you'd like down below. Please subscribe. Let your friends know that this uh, channel is out there. I'm, I'm not going to quit. And now that, again, with the job situation temporarily out of the way, I'm going to just post every single day. Today is uh, shopping day, so I might not get around to another video, but I will do everything I can to have something for you guys on the Lord's Day tomorrow. And I hope you're I hope you're having a good, a good... I hope you are struggling mightily against Satan and his nonsense. And I hope that you are standing up and doing everything you can to learn know and grow in the word and help other Christians do the same. If you think sharing this video will help others grow, please do so. Please let me know if I'm off base about something, people. I don't claim to be perfect, but I've come to a place where I can't shut up and I, I, I'm not going to. And, and as you guys, perhaps if you've been following along, can see Satan's taking shots, but I, I don't care. Let's do this. Please check out the site and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bless you all. Love you guys.